spring, 1980. Mount St. Helens is one of the major peaks in the Cascade Mountains. Over 120 years, the volcano has been quiet. But then, on May 18, 1980, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake rocks the mountain. Within 10 seconds, the volcano's northern flank collapses in the largest landslide in recorded history. It releases millions of tons of magma in a colossal explosion. Flying clockwise around Mount St. Helen, on our wings around America, flight around the country. We're at 7,500 feet. What's left of the top of Mount St. Helen is between 8,300 and 9,000 feet. Well, the opposite side is the part that's blown away, which we'll see here soon. I'm going to turn so we can do that. Here we go. Flying clockwise around Mount St. Helen, we are on the western side of it now. We're at 7,500. Mount St. Helen rises above us. And I'm doing this in short clips so it doesn't get really boring and I'm swapping back and forth between cameras so I don't have enough hands. <laughs> you can see the lake that is kind of on the northern side of it. Quite interesting looking. Yeah, all of this is the stuff that came down. Yeah, this is the Seattle five oh flow field of the volcano when it erupted. All my lands, look at that. Yeah, we can see it. Look at the blown out section of Mount St. Helens. I certainly wouldn't have wanted to have been here when that happened. That is absolutely amazing. Wow, makes you speechless. Well, it looks so... All of this on our other side is Mount St. Helens top. Yes. Down this way. I'm going to go over to the other side and we'll take a look at that. Low path of Mount St. Helen. You can see how it has flowed down through there. That was amazing. 283. Okay, Mount St. Helen, we're going to leave you, and it's been a great pleasure meeting you up close and personal.